Okay, this is Richard with HydrogenTechnologyToday.com and the video just before this I showed you this cell, a uh, 17 plate design running on pure tap water. It's pulling about 5 amps uh, producing around 5 to 6 uh, ounces a minute. Not very much really um, you know, not really ideal. Um, what I do want to do though is put in a little sodium hydroxide here which is the crystal drain opener from Lowe's um, ideally when you do this you measure it out you mix it with a little water and uh, we're going to do that now we've got a basically a quarter a quarter of a teaspoon here and I'm only going to put in about half that not very much which really comes out to be around an eighth of a teaspoon so Put that in our little stainless steel cup. Gonna grab us a bottle of water. Uh, you want to mix this up first. You know, get it get it good and diluted before you add it into your into your cell. Uh, mix this up. You can kind of watch the bubbles here. This is about uh, sixty ounces of pure water out of a tap and we're on a well out here and I do have a Culligan system so there's some there's some enrichment being done to the water but uh, you know here's the cell 17 plates there's the uh, amperage I'm just going to turn off my my charger here real quick and open this up Mix in the sodium hydroxide. Pre-mixed. You don't want to touch this stuff. That's not a real good idea. Mix it, stir it. I'm trying to be a cameraman and a wacko scientist wannabe. So here we go. All right. Gonna take the cell in and out, just make sure that each individual plate gets gets some liquid in between it so we get a good good test. Okay, closing it back up. Number two back. Remember this is an eighth of a teaspoon of sodium hydroxide. So here we go. Watch the cell. Quite a bit more hydrogen. Pull in about 10 amps. Now, also take in consideration that this cell has not been what's called conditioned. Um, here's the results of the bubbles. Quite a bit more coming out. And as the water becomes more active uh, and the sodium hydroxide gets a little more mixed into this tap water, We'll pull just a few more amps, and ultimately, this particular setup uh, will will produce around a liter a minute, uh, below 15 amps. If I add a little more sodium hydroxide, I pull more amperage, the water heats up a little more, and uh, I produce more hydrogen. There's good and bad things about that. Some vehicles don't need that much hydrogen. This particular setup will produce around a liter a minute. Um, with just an eighth of a teaspoon of sodium hydroxide in tap water. 